The residents around Majek bus stop on the Ajayakbe Expressway axis of Lagos State are counting their losses as they lament the manner of their eviction by the state's government. The residents who acknowledged the land they were evicted from belonged to the state government claimed they were not served notices to vacate. Correspondent Funke Adesoji reports. Call them squatters, encroachers, or informal settlers. Bottom line is they admitted to have been residents on the land belonging to the Lagos state government for over 20 years. And while there are no objections to the eviction, the residents and artisans lament the lack of parent notice, the humane treatment, and destruction of their property by government. <laughs> They started demolish everything where we have here. They don't even mind maybe a pregnant woman or old woman or breastfeeding woman is inside. They spot everything that we have. So now we don't have anywhere to go. Like me now, I don't have anybody in this Lagos. So I went to work. My son now run come back. Mommy come me. He said people have come and demolish everywhere. They are beating me. Look at my body. I say no. I say yes. Do you move it? He say no, mommy. They are beating me. So I now feel I run. Before I run, they don't scatter everything. Since three days now we are outside. I'm not going anywhere. I deal with my children here. So I don't know what to do. Whatever it is that they are doing, our government are only uh, okay with their pockets. Their pockets and their families. If you are not, if you are nowhere to know, if you are nowhere to do in the community, you are never recognized. It's so painful in the country I found myself that I'm in Nigeria. Sometimes I'm ashamed to tell people where I come from. Mrs. Ops, a widow and a family, may be experiencing an hard time surviving the economic downturn, but that challenge and hardship have just doubled with eviction and demolition of their home and property. I've been here for 25 years. I'm literally born in this area. I grew up here, you know, all my life I've lived here. I've, Caterpillar doesn't even hear anything. He just understands the language of the stick. Once he points that stick at the building, he brings it down with so much happiness and joy. My property was there. Everything was inside the house. I even locked my door. Even my, the, the, one of my neighbors was trying to bring out my things. They didn't allow him to carry. They were even using cutlass to wipe the boy. Why would we carry all these the soldiers that came with the truck, the truck people? Sign, they did not tell us. Mark, they did not mark the house. They, they don't tell us anything. I, these two children are here, I burned them. My husband died here. He worked for my jack. He died here. We've been living here. I've been living all my life. So why would you just come in one day and say they, this place belongs to government? If it belongs to government, government should tell us we live. Not breaking people's home. Making people homeless. The plight of these residents who were unceremoniously evicted from a land owned by the government may just mirror many of such across the state where governments sack residents at will with little or no alternative provision. Funke Adesoji, Sibobe News 24, Lagos.